All right, so faith, the unholy trinity. This ought to be interesting. To give a little bit of backstory on this, uh, the faith games have actually been out for a while. They're these like incredibly old school, almost Atari-esque horror games based on the satanic panic of the 70s and the 80s, which in itself is interesting. But they also feature like rotoscoped animations but done in a similar style, which is very interesting. Um, I believe the first game actually came out quite a while ago. Hold on, let me see when that came out. Because this is actually a trilogy, right? Of games, uh, with the third chapter releasing today with the other two on Steam. So I gotta see... Okay, I don't know when exactly the first game came out, but like earlier than 2019. Because in 2019, the second game came out. And I've actually had my eye on these games for a while. But when I learned about them and I started getting interested in playing them, um, Faith 3 had been announced as like the final game, the end of the trilogy. And I was like, oh, cool. In that case, I'll just wait for the, uh, for the trilogy to come out and I'll play it then. That sounds perfect. Then I'll play it in one go and have fun with that. And um, then it took a while. <laughs> Which, that's not me giving the, uh, the dev any shit, by the way, because, you know, this stuff is hard, I'm sure. Like, really difficult, takes a long time to do right. And, uh, when you have other life things to do and so on. So, it's not me trying to be mean about this. I'm just saying that, like, it took a while longer than I expected. But now it's finally here. And we can get satanic and spooky. Before we play, though, I actually kind of skipped the intro before we started this, so I'm just going to play that, and let's see what happens. Just, uh... Oh. B-17 Bomber! Oh. A rebel! We got a rebellious boy here. Faith, the unholy trinity. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Sounds interesting. So yeah, we play as a priest who's about to like go exercise demons, I suppose. So I guess we'll begin and see. Oh, marathon mode. All three chapters back to back. Uh, I think we'll actually just play them as is because I might go ending hunting. So let's try. New game. What? Notes. Oh, there's notes everywhere. So in one of those games. All right. So a new game. Whoops. Wait, what? Turbo lantern mode, flashlight mode. The fuck does any of that mean? Well, let's just begin. Faith chapter one. Hello, brave. Welcome. You gonna let me play? There we go. All right. Here I am. I do love that they have the, like, little white part of his priest collar visible. Let's see. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Uh. Oh, is that my map? Okay. Okay, cool. Well. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, I thought it was dead for a second. Hi, friend. Hey, don't, no, don't be scared. Aw. Alright, where do we go? Oh, there he is. Be gone, demon. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, no. 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 Leave dear friend alone. Alright. 
Dear friend is fine. Dear friend lives another day. But still runs away from me. Whatever. Oh, water. Hello. What? Am I making holy water? Whoa! I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Okay, so we know there's a rifle somewhere. Did I just turn that into holy water and exercise the spirit from it? I'm not really sure what the hell just happened. Or where I'm going, for that matter. What is all this? Oh, that's that's an option, yeah. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem. Because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just the day after the twins' birthday party. I can't wait until you come home. Okay, ominous. Do I just walk in a straight line, or...? <laughs> like, I'm just kind of wandering randomly here until something happens. Oh, dear friend is back. Hello, dear friend. Whoa! No, you don't. No! <laughs> what did he say? What did it say? It sounded like it went like, ah, oh, bother. <laughs> oh, there's a well here. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd, 12 to 4 p.m. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go right past the well. God, that clown is terrifying. All right. Ah, whoa! Guess I didn't hold up my cross in time. Welp! I appear to have died a death. Whoops. God, these things are startling, man. They just show the fuck up out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I mean, I already read this, didn't I? Isn't it the same note? Yep, it sure is. Do I have to get them all in one... Oh, fuck. Really? I have to get them in one go? Aw, oh, man. Up, 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 up. What?! Oh, I have to face them. I have to be turned in the right direction. I'm an idiot. Okay. So what is the objective in this one? Like, it doesn't seem like there's a specific house I gotta go to. At least none that I can see. Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> My bad. I kind of want to see if I can find a few more notes, because this is interesting. Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscription on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone ru uh, rubbings? to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. Okay. I can't read this or this. Okay, so remember that the house is like one away from, from the gravestones. I'm never gonna find that house again, am I? Whatever. I kind of want to see if I can find some notes. Because it's interesting, man. Ooh, this is ominous. What happened here? Oh. Okay. 
That sounds pleasant. Oh, I saw someone walking over there. Ah! What the hell is that thing saying? Following these people is probably a really bad idea, but here we go. You suffer. I didn't even notice the fox, but yeah, I've seen Antichrist. I did not like it, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I've told that story a million times. Right, we've done that one. Should I follow these? Am I being an idiot right now? Ooh, here we go. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alfred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until he arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off, the, off to the right of the path. Father Alfred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the layperson. I mean, yeah. Do I go in? Oh, shit. Ah! Stay away. You demon son of a- ah! Don't you fucking dare. Hell out of here. I mean, yeah, but this time I don't... I don't have the note that talked about a rifle, so I don't think I can get it here. Yeah, I saw. I saw it saved, which is good. I think maybe I can't get the gun unless I have the note that tells me it's there. Ah! What is he saying? Public lecture by Carl James Osborne. Connecticut's historical connections to witchcraft, Satanism, and the beast system. Hmm, interesting. Oh wait, here's something new. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women of book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Hmm. What's that? Christians having a fundamental problem with people actually being nice and doing something good for pe people that aren't members of their church? Never heard of that before. Oh boy. Where the fuck is the house? <laughs> Follow these guys again, see where they take me. Oh, yep, they took me to the actual house. All right. Let's see what kind of madness we get up to in here. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It's not that it was not the kind of look a child gives you. No, I imagine not if she's fucking possessed. What do we have here? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> look at that face. She's like, mmm, mother. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, what else we got around here? Oh. Oh, there's something following me. Everything got way too fucking quiet all of a sudden. I don't like it. Oh, I don't love it. So do I just interact with things by throwing my cross at it? <laughs> my crucifix at it, actually. I guess would be the correct term. Really, really don't love how quiet this is. 
Oh, well, that's pleasant. <laughs> I appreciate the little Halloween pumpkin over here. If that is indeed what it is. Who the hell knows? I huh? can't go back there. What is this? Are these stairs to the basement, perhaps? They sure are. I don't want to go there yet. I want to see a little more of the house first. Let's go upstairs before I go into any creepy basement. Okay. Oh, I see a blood trail at this door. That's not great. What's going on over here? I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working on throughout the day. And now I can't even seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob come, comes home tomorrow. Oh yeah, finding your car keys. That's a sure sign of satanic possession. Didn't you know? That's like the first thing. All the experts say so. Anything else in here? Nah. What is that up there? Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird-looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Oh, <laughs> come on. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances, spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the ride again. Hmm. Did you now? I like the game of Simon over there. <laughs> oh, is this one of those clown telephones on wheels? Yeah, it totally is. And an etch -a sketch Wow, somebody got real creative with this, considering I can recognize the toys. Also a world map on the wall, because that's normal for a, chi for a kid's room. Okay, I can't actually go there. Into the attic right now, so... I guess we're gonna go in the basement for a bit. There's seemingly nothing I can interact with here either. I think st I think shit flashes from like quite a bit away when I lift my crucifix. I do have to get somewhat close, but what's all this shit? Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we're working in has a lot of talks uh, who practice. Kimbamba, I think that says. A lot of folks who practice Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan, pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint, of, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I prayed to San La Muerte. To San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house. And according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. Except for when he threatens you with going to hell for all eternity if you do even the slightest thing wrong at any point. No scare tactics here. We, um... We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. Hmm. Professor Layton? Anything else in here I can interact with? Or is this just a leaky-ass basement? 
God, the silence doesn't sit well with me. I don't like it. What the hell is happening here? What? Um. Okay, don't love this. Oh! This isn't much better. Amy's parents could endure witnessing the... Could not endure witnessing the proceed. God, I can't read today. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Alfred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back to the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Alfred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread wide. Amy was not in the chair. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Oh? Oh, gross! Hey, I've seen the ring. Whoa, here she comes. <laughs> She's a man eater. How did I end up here? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Oh, the music is back. That's almost worse than the silence. Can I go here now? Uh oh, uh oh. Up! Ah, don't you dare. Get the fuck away from me. Up! Oh! Clearly. So, I guess the crucifix doesn't work on her? What? So what the fuck do I do now? I need to exercise her somehow, I guess, but... Do I have to get out of the house? Up. Oh, okay, maybe I just can't stay in one room for long. That seems to be it. She's like following. Alright. So the question is, do I need to get the fuck out, or...? Okay, it looks like I need to get the fuck out of the house. There's nothing else to do in here. Yep, I just need to get the fuck out of the house. Like, right now. But what the hell do I do now, then? I have to... Uh-oh. Oh, okay, nope, nope. <laughs> I have to find some way to exercise her though, so how the fuck do I do that? Okay, is she gonna come for me? Is she gonna show up in here? Okay, that's it. That's it, that's how it goes. But I don't know if I'm supposed to do this a few times, or if I just need to get... ...to get out of here. If I go out, am I gonna see the kids again? Ah! Hell away from me. Like, am I supposed to vanquish her from this house right now, or am I supposed to go exploring some more? That's the part I don't quite understand. Ah, okay. Okay, come at me. Ah! Alright, motherfucker, come at me. Okay, here we go. Guess I sent her on the run. What an interesting way to come up with some variation on literally having one button. <laughs> oh, crap. We're in for some spooky now, aren't we? Okay. Molly, the 
The church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with... When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own... I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still here. Oh, she's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and that I'm sorry. Okay, so there's some shenaniganery going on that shouldn't be happening, clearly. Oh, shit. That's cool. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is Don't give me that Kuchisaka on that bullshit. I have to finish what I started. Kill my priest. The fuck out of here. You gonna pull any tricks on me? Oh no. What's that over there? Okay, so I can't just stand there and hold it. I guess I gotta avoid that guy. I guess he's just there to make it difficult for me to exercise this. So I gotta dodge him while I'm doing it. Oh yeah, here he comes. Nope, move. Nope. Uh, he's a lot faster than I... Uh oh. What? Where's your face, lady? Uh oh. Huh? Wait, 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 which one was it? Ah! Oh no! Ah! Fuck! I didn't pay attention. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, this is interesting. Appreciate this, the uh, save point in the middle of the fight. Which one was it? Oh, wait! Fuck! Am I crazy or her flickering way more, way more subtle now? Oh, it must be dodged. Man, it really doesn't give you a way to learn how this works. Oh, okay. Ah! And then, whoo! Okay. That's what I'm saying, man. They're surprisingly good at finding some way to, to get some action in here. Considering this is a pretty up oh, fuck oh shit god damn it God damn it all right let's try that again What a fascinating game up Okay How dare you oh but up okay Down. Okay. Music's getting wild. Oh shit! Shit! Oh wait, there us. Okay. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh man. How long is this fight? This is actually nerve-wracking. Shit. Okay. Fuck, this is taking a while to do. Okay, come on. Shit. Yo, there she is. Okay. Ha! Will you please die? Yes! Oh! Oh, that was much better. No! What the fuck?
the? Ah! Okay, I thought maybe I just had to get out of pentagram range, but that's not it. I guess paralyze her while she's doing that. Don't fucking- What?! Wait before you tell me. I gotta figure this out. The hell is the trick to this? What?! Maybe if I stand in the middle? Yeah, okay. Fuck! Alright, pay attention to her pentagram pattern and don't get hit. So she's gonna... And then she comes down. Ah! Okay. Ah! Oh god. <laughs> Jesus! Why- why did that not work? Why didn't I hurt her that time? Come on! Why is she not being hurt now? All of a sudden, she's just not taking damage when I'm... Using this?! Oh shit! Ah! Please. Please. Shit. I was hoping she'd stay in place. Okay. See, sometimes nothing happens. Oh, there we go. Is she done? Oh. Oh. Oh, bye. <laughs> what? All right, I guess we're going outside and behind the house. The fuck just happened? Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, I'm upstairs. I forgot. Oh, maybe now I can take that back door out. Kill her. I mean, I tried. Hope it worked. Oh, shit. I saw the gun, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do I go through here or? Nope, I do have to go around. Do I go around back? Like, I can't. How do I find her? I can't leave the house in the back, so... How in the hell... Is she just roaming the woods now? Or should I go in the basement? I don't think so. That doesn't make sense. No, there doesn't seem to be much going on down here. Where the fuck did she go? All five endings depend on what you shoot. Okay, interesting. I'm just trying to figure out where to go to shoot something. Oh, these are like much more straightforward roads now. Where am I going? Oh, there she is. Okay, well, let's just shoot and see what happens. Boom. <laughs> she did. Oh, I, I actually gotta... Gotta leave again. Let me guess, there's some twist that the demon left her and I just shot an innocent child or something. Alright, my job here's done. Wait, was there... 
Oh, I could have sworn there was a thing. All right. All right. <laughs> Look at him swaggering away like, yeah, good work was done here today. Oh, well. How quaint. Oh my god, how far away is my fucking car? Jesus! There it is. I have infinite gun. Nice. Alright. <laughs> oh. Hi, officer! <laughs> Listen, I can explain. <laughs> I promise, officer, she was totally possessed. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who has been missing. John Ward of Palmyra, Palmyra was pulled over at Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the official called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Oh, Ward, sorry. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. What was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain, oh, to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. Well then, um, oh, okay. So now we can get the gun and try for a couple other endings. So I guess I just gotta go in a, another random direction and see what I find. And shoot that. I'm imagining, right? Well, he didn't shoot her in the face. He shot her in the stomach. Her face was just mutilated. Totally different. <laughs> the map does seem a little unnecessarily big at times, but... Oh well. Oh, hello. And who might you be? You just... Oh! Wait, get back here! Boom! Alright. Fuck you, whoever you are. <laughs> just shot some random dude. <laughs> Just a completely random guy. Yeah, fuck him. He looks shootable. Let's get the hell out of here. To my car. Which I believe is down here. Ish. Come on. So you're saying there's five endings? So there's five different things I can find and shoot. Alright, bye, I guess. Get the fuck out of here. I will send up my lord. He is my refuge and my fortress. My god, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Father and son. Oh, that was the weird white demon that crawls around. <laughs> what the fuck was that Mike Myers bullshit? Well, I done fucked up. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I'm doing for young Michael without being present there. 
Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael's... <laughs> I like that his name actually is Michael, by the way. Uh, dare not return Michael to his family nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there may be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. So was, so was he like the brother who was also... Oh shit, I think we might have been, yeah. So was there a brother named Michael who was also possessed or, you know, in some other way afflicted? All right. Oh, sorry. I'm, an, I'm a fool then. Oh, I don't want to do this. Well, <laughs> sorry. I do it for the endings. Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> All right, well, I exercised the demon and shot a random ass deer for literally no reason. What the fuck? Oh, revenge of the deer. Oh lord. Oh, I might have done goofed. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god! You came to the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Ah, oh, that's fucking great. Alright. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning. Along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. It's, I, I'd say so. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the, uh, the road and struck a tree. A spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front of the windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. <laughs> oh, it was not the work of coyotes, my man. Police also noted that parts of the clean white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears that the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. A very important detail, for sure. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. What is that Gary Loves You shit? That it keeps riding in the loading screen. Hmm. That probably means something when you play it a little more. Alright, continue. We gotta get the last two endings, because this is fucking fun. That was an amazing ending. Holy shit. It <laughs> was completely fucking me up. Oh, okay. I've never played Oregon Trail, so that'll do it. I mean, I know of it, I've just never played it. <laughs> I can't get over The deer just absolutely fucking me up. That was amazing. Alright. Ooh, what's happening over here? Um, there's nothing here I can shoot, though. Am I supposed to shoot this blood spot? Nope. There appears to be nothing here. Oh, it's a fox corpse. I always, I, I kept thinking this was just a blood splatter. 
Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go with the leaving ending then, and then you're gonna have to tell me how to get the last one. <laughs> Cause I don't see what else I can do. All right, I'll do the ending where I just bounce. And fuck this place. I'm out. Oh shit! 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 Really? He's still there? What the? <laughs> Is that the ending when you try to leave? That he tries to get you? Or was I supposed to shoot him as I try to leave? I'm gonna try that. Fuck this guy. Fuck you, Michael. All right, Michael, you son of a bitch. Right, can you uh, find can you find out how I get the fifth ending then? Because after this, I'll have gotten four, I think. Although I don't think anything is gonna top the fucking deer. That was amazing. All right, here he comes. Boom! Okay. <laughs> that might be a little bit overkill. <laughs> have you now? I'm not sure we'll have time to play all three, but <laughs> this is fucking great. But I couldn't. It just passed over it. So is this like the canon ending where I exercise everything and leave? It seems like it. Ending 5 of 5, when faith endures. How the fuck did I miss? It's a corpse. Animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered at Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist was disco who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said Sterling. Oh, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found. Although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay then. What is that Gary loves you? Alright, one last one. Let's get one more ending. Maybe I have to stand more level to it, like, like this. Oh yeah, sure. Okay, there we go. Shot the fox corpse, which seems senseless, but okay. <laughs> and out I go. So what's gonna jump scare me this time? Nice. Whoa! Whoa! Uh-oh. Um. Can I help you? The offering. Huh. <laughs> that, uh, that didn't quite go as planned. 
They got real mad about that fox, huh? Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you're able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. Gary? The same Gary that loves me? New chapter mode unlocked. Yeah, Gary loves you. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let me refill my drink and we shall play Faith Chapter 2. Thank <laughs> you.